first and foremost so let us give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Akakodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a peace and salutation to the Yakims out there pushing this gospel in sincerity and truth. Let us say Shalom to all the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Shalom to the nation of Israel. I'm speaking to the elect and the wanted, the children of Israel, you blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, you Hispanics, you all are the children of Israel, right? Of the twelve tribes, right? The descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the chosen seed. Right? We're coming over this lesson today. Um dealing with the, the Mosai that he would strengthen us and always be with us. Right? In happy times and in sad times. Right? In times of rejoice and in times of temptation, the most I will always be with us. So let's begin to the scriptures. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right, so it's showing you, it's here, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Right, we have nothing to be afraid about. Right, we have nothing to fear. The most I said that he would be with us. He said, fear thou not. Right, he would strengthen us, he would help us, uphold us, right? The most I is we, we father, that we creator, right? And that's why we need to love the most I. By keeping his laws, right, and worshiping him with everything we have, right. This is Isaiah chapter forty, verse twenty-nine. It says, "He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength." Right. It says, "Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall." But they that wait upon the Most High shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Right? So we have to wait on the Most High. Right? He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right? So look back to verse 29. It says, He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, He increaseth strength. Right? That is talking about us, the elect and the wanted. We have no strength right now. Right? And well, when I say that, as obvious, we have strength because we know the, the law, statutes, and commandments. We know we heritage and these things, but in terms of might, right, we are weak. As the scriptures say, the enemies will be the head and we is the tail, right? We is the so called scum of this society, right? We are to give the most high all praises that we still alive today, right? Esau, Esau could destroy us in our one, right? His armies, the armies of this earth could destroy us in our one, right? Because we are weak, right? That the state the most I put us in, at the bottom, he put us in the dust, right? But they that we, as it say, we are to wait upon the most I and he will renew our strength. He will give us back our strength, and we say we will mount up with wings as eagles. We would run and we wouldn't be weary. We would walk and we'd not fail. Right? So that's why we had to trust the Mosai, you had to endure, you had to keep these laws. And the Mosai will eventually renew your strength. Alright? This is Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let's say, I can do all things through Christ, but strengtheneth me. Right? This is a powerful scripture. Right? I can do all things through Yahushai. Right? Because my Yahushai is the mediator to Yahweh. Right? So when it's I could do all things through Christ, which strengthened me, right? We could do all things through Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Right? Anything through the Mosai. Nothing is impossible to us. The Ilakani wanted. Right? With the power of the Mosai. Right? 
to the power of the most high goes beyond infinity right goes beyond any concept right that could be created by the mind right we minds can't even grasp or fathom the power of the most high right that's why these scientists all day believe that the most high is real because they can't prove it right right because they can't prove it they say that he's not real and all these things they lost and confounded right they don't have the ability to to understand the most high right the most high is is the most high is, he's more than infinity right the most high is all powerful almighty right <sighs> Um, you go to Psalms. Chapter seventy three, verse twenty six. All right, this Psalm um, chapter seventy three, verse twenty six. It says, <coughs> "Still like here, my flesh and my heart faileth." But Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Alright? So this is from this is for these people that believe in the body. They believe in the flesh. Right? See my flesh and my heart feel it. Right? But Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Right? The flesh, the flesh is weak. Right? The flesh is weak. Right? The flesh could tear, right? The flesh could be burnt, right? In a in a physical and metaphorical way, the flesh is weak, right? The flesh is susceptible to all lust and sin, right? Um, let's say my flesh and my heart feel it, but Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever, right? The flesh will wear away, but it's not the soul, right? That is what is important, the soul, right? And in order to be get to get these blessings, right, these promises from the Most High, we need to worship Him full heartedly, and do what we have to do, and which which is keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and teach it, right? That is what we need to be doing, and condemning this wicked place. Right? These people believe these people believe in America. America is their God. The white man is their God. Right? They believe you get the strength from this white man. Right? But they have no strength they. Right? They love the world and they will die with the world. Right? But the lack and the one turn, right? The believers, the saints will be saved. Right? Lord willing, we are to pray for this, you know. <coughs> I'm going to go to 2 Timothy Chapter 1 verse 7 Let's see For Yahweh hath not given us the spirit of fear But of power And of love And of a sound mind Right The Mosai In these times here Right The Mosai Yeah give us a spirit of fear we is not to fear these these Edomites. We is not to fear these other nations. We is not to fear anything, as the scriptures say. I think in the book of Matthew, it say, "Fear the one, fear not the one that could take away um, the body, but fear the one that could take away both body and soul." Right, roughly paraphrasing. That is who we are to fear, right? The Most High give you a spirit of fear, we say. We are spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, right? That is the spirits we have, right? Powerful spirits, right? Love, right? Love to for the most, right? Love for one another, right? Because we are not in this alone, right? We is one body, right? The nation of Israel is supposed to be one body, right? So we is not to fear these other nations. We have we have nothing to be afraid about. We have nothing to, to stress, right? 
nothing at all not not your job or your school bills to pay or the we're not supposed to stress those things right the most i will provide right the most i provide food water shelter clothing all these things the most i will give us these things the most i right he's the one he's the reason why we are alive today right he protect us Um, we go to Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4 it say for the most are your power is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you yeah right that would that would be Musa is right Musa is fight for us Right? Musa say fight for you against the enemies to save you. Right? That why we is not to fear these other nations. Right? We is the gods of this planet. You understand? Under Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. We is not to fear them. <coughs> right? Musa will guide us, strengthen us, and protect us. Right? He is our power. Right? Our everything, our creator. Right. And with that, I would just like to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakudash. Stay strong, Israel. Stay strong, brothers and sisters. Keep on pushing this truth. Keep on keep um so I can continue to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments, and continue to hold the faith. Ask, continue to ask Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, for the guidance, the strength, and the protection. Right to endure, right through this wicked kingdom, right? Shallow one.